Hey guys, this is Maline from Maline Budgets. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. In today's video, we're doing my mandatory challenges. I decided to decorate a little bit with uh, this beautiful bookmark that Sabina from Clay Street Store made for me. She has them available in bundles and uh, some of you won things from her. It would be great if you had replied and gave me your address, but oh well. So we have 600 here. Yes, some of it is the money from the bill exchange. And I will not count it because we always put 600 into these challenges and some of them are for my personal use, emergency fund and mortgage principal payment. Okay, so let's begin. Of course, as always with uh, Roxy's October savings challenge, this one saves us a 40 for this month as well. So let's just add a five. For the next one, we are always putting in a 10. These are just adorable. Let me do some purple. Let me do the witch's hat. And this cute little bat here. On this one from Deep Lunches and Budgets, I am confused. I think the numbers uh, jumped around due to the fact of me shrinking the challenge so I'll just be crossing them off I know let's just do a 10 in here to be on the safe side so three six nine and ten And if we don't have any more numbers, we can still roll in the little circles. But So for this one from Robin, the October quote is, A happy life consists in the tranquility of mind. So let me get my D100 here, and we have a 60. So we're still on the 60 train here and the streak that I was having in September so one two three four five and six for the first week of October I cannot believe how fast time is flying by then we have Judy's challenge and it will be easy this time it's just the pumpkin So five going in for Judy's envelope as well. We're sticking to our schedule here and keeping the money inside until the end of the year. Then on in my envelope, we are pausing a little bit the challenge from Joe, the Still Trying Mama, because I just really want to do this one from Veronica at Weekly Budgets. Just, just look how beautiful this one is. It says self-love is not selfish. And it's with a skeleton filled with flowers and with cute little pumpkins, so I thought this was perfect for the month of October, so I'll just do three, three squares for now, every single week. So I know you can't see it really well, but it might be loud, so let me roll on here. So we have 17, 12, and 3. So, 17, 12... And three. 17 and 3 is 20 plus 12 is 32 so it's perfect so 10 20 30 1 and 2 I just really wanted to do this one during the month of October together with her pumpkin spice one for the concert tickets, I just find this hilarious. I can't even. So let me just do the 12 sided die here. So we have one, five, one, and two. Okay. One, five, one, and two. 
So that's six, seven, nine. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I just love them. And obviously, thank you so much for the freebies, Veronica. As always, I'm very much appreciated. I love your collab with Julie's Pages, and I cannot wait to do more. So, for Hide the Sausage from Liz, we should do a 10. And the 15 here. So 25 going in for the hide the sausage from Liz, and maybe we'll finish it off next time. We'll see. I just wanted a tinier, smaller challenge for the dental work. For uh, this envelope for the gifts and the wedding, we're actually invited to a wedding uh, on October 19th. We just got the, uh, the invite and it was a beautiful passport wedding, handmade, um, handmade invitation card. It was just beautiful. So let me roll for these hearts, for these remaining hearts here. So let's see, one, six, three, six. Let me not forget one, six, three, six. So 12, 15, 16 for this one, 16. And then here, let's roll a six for this one and a three for this shark. And these are officially done. So six and three is another nine. So 25 in total for now and we'll start something else next time then we have the emergency fund challenge which is my 2024 so let's do a 70 in here again 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 and I'll color in two more boxes So these are done and colored then. I'm emptying the envelope out every single month because I need the money, of course. Okay, let's continue on the fall challenge from uh, Jess. Budget by Jess, so let me scratch one off. These are very manageable amounts, this is just a 10. I have a 600 one and also a 50 dollar one that i'll be doing uh on fridays i think then we have her summer one and this one should be done soon so let's see okay, this one was a 60 so one two three four five and six we have 250 that we already sent towards the mortgage then we have some halloween -y challenges here. We have these beautiful witches from Rock's Budgets. Please check out her Etsy shop and her freebie links. We have this happy Halloween one from Bookish Mama Budgets and this one that I forgot who I got it from. If it's yours, please remind me. So I'll be rolling on each of them. So let's see, 19 and 18. So 19, 18 on this one, and a 4. The 4 is appropriate because this one is uh, one with many, many circles, and I cannot spend an eternity finishing this one off. So 19 plus 18 is 37, plus 4 is 41. So 41, yay!
it would help if I kept the challenges at the front because I have a ton of minis at the back waiting for me and then this is the last moving day challenge from Carmen at the Humble Budgeters so let me do a, another 20 in here like last time because I printed her A6 one and her A5, the A5 is already done and then we have some other pillows from Liz and Les. Let's do, let's do this fifteen dollar one. So ten, fifteen. I think this is coming up, coming along nicely. And then in this envelope we have Lizzie's box of fall scratch offs. Uh, I'll be getting four of them once again for us to scratch. Doing four at a time seems to do the trick. It's one through nine and a mystery total. Okay, we owe this one 10, 16, 18. That's great. One, two, and three. Let's put these back in the case. And I didn't have the need to empty this 50 that I had from her in the envelope because I saved enough money in September to put towards the mortgage. Then let's do at least two rolls in Alicia's 12 boxes savings challenge. So let's see. On hers I'm usually doing the, the pink and purple uh, dye but let's go with dark purple this time. So box four. And box number nine. So eight and nine, that's a 15. So 10, 15 going in here. Let's see where to next the first box and number seven number seven is just a five so let's put the five in Okay, then let's stop here and let's see what we can do in the Fox Challenge from Lisa Grateful Me, which is this beautiful envelope. I know I printed off the, <clears throat> the fall and uh, winter as well. So this is the gorgeous challenge. I will be using it to track my likes from you guys. So let's see how much I have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 165. So in terms of likes for 165, we could do 81 and 84. So I think the easiest way would be to do 10 16s. And a five? Should we do that? We should. So I just did ten sixteens and a five. I think they'll be beautiful because I'll make every number in here in every season a different color so I cannot wait to see this one filling up and all of the money will be going inside the envelope here and this was it for today's video guys only one challenge finished the one with the sharks but it doesn't matter because I'm unstuffing it at the end of the month anyways 
So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.